Good morning, everyone. We're going to be going back to our social justice lessons today, but uh, we're going to do it a little bit differently today. Um, we're going to be reading a poem. And this poem is by the poet Amanda Gorham. And you know how there's a, um, a national poet laureate? Um, it's sort of like the, the national poet for the country, right? Well, this, this girl, Amanda Gorham, um, woman now, she, uh, she was the first youth poet laureate. She was only 19 years old when um, she wrote the poem that we're going to be reading today. It's pretty amazing. Now 19 is a little bit older than you guys, so it might not sound that young to you, but she's st still a teenager when she wrote this poem, so it's pretty amazing. Um, she wrote the poem three years ago when she's become quite the poet, and I find um, the poet is called, I mean the poem is called In This Place, an American lyric, and I find it quite powerful and, and wonderful, um, and just the rhythm of the words, it's, it's quite nice. So, but what we're gonna do, I found a YouTube video of her reading it herself, so better to hear the actual poet reading her own poem than to hear me reading it, right? So, and I sense, I've tried in the past to, you know, play YouTube videos on here and the, and the sound doesn't come through. So I'm gonna have you listen to that on your own, but first, the thing about poems is that there's so much packed into such a small place. You have to sort of listen to them over again and just, you know, over and over to, to really to really get at it. And sometimes seeing it, especially if you're more of a visual person, can be really helpful too. And even just reading it aloud, poetry is very much about the sounds. And so reading poems are meant to be read aloud. So what I want you to do, and this is going to be pretty much on your own because you can't really I can't really discuss anything with you guys and you know I'm not there with you so what I want you to do first is to read the poem yourself out loud so I will provide a link with this video for the um, to where you can find the words the poem and I want you to read it aloud maybe read it to your aloud to your family or just read it aloud to yourself and then I want you to go through it and find maybe two, two or three places in the poem where just where you really like the words, for whatever reason, because of what they mean or just because of the sounds of them. And share this with your sibling or your parents, these parts of the poem that are that you really like, and try to figure out what those parts of the poem mean. Once you have read it aloud and discussed with your family or your favorite parts of the poem. Then I want you to go online to the YouTube video that I'll also share a link for that as well, to where Amanda Gorham reads the poem herself. Um, Amanda, she's, um, so yeah, she was 19 years old when she wrote it. She's from Los Angeles, California, or that's where she was born. And her work focuses on um, oppression and feminism, race, marginalization, um, and as I said, she's the first person to be named the National Youth Poet Laureate. And she has a poetry book um, published that she published when she was only 17, um, the one for whom food is not enough. So um, that is your assignment. So that is it. And enjoy the poem. We're back with our special series breaking through today that? in honor Sorry, of the streamers. I don't know if you could hear that or not. If you couldn't, then you're probably like, what's going on? Anyway, I hope you enjoy the poem. I hope you have a great week. Be safe, be kind. See you next time.